Welcome back to the show. Um, yes, guys, very quickly, it's um, we have a lot to get through today. So, your thoughts on the we've talked we talked about it fully, yeah. Uh, yes, we talked about it this morning as well. So, just your general thoughts on what we saw yesterday between Argentina and France, buddy. Um, a brilliant game, never again. Mm. <laughs> Hi, <High> BP. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, at the end of the day, uh, well. Both of the final basically, mm. and when you look at what Qatar has done uh, with this World Cup, I think the final bit between Argentina and France was only befitting, mm. you know, for the showmanship they've put up, mm. you know, since the start of the tournament. And again, what a befitting way uh, mm. for the stars to align, you know, for Lionel Messi to actually uh, become a world champion mm. as well. And for the French side, I do believe uh, they will look back and say, you know, despite the challenges of the, of the, of the World Cup and also the finale, that, you know, they did as much as they could, but mm. things didn't just work out on the day. Mm. All right, and you? Ah, what a way to end. What a way to end. Um, you know, France making consecutive finals and, you know, on the brink of creating history. Mm. While Argentina, um, you know, fairy tale run after, you know, that defeat to Saudi Arabia on their opening game game but they ended up winning everything else other than that and it was a good final to say the least there were goals 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 um you could say that you know what um 2018 final that had six goals too when you know france defeated croatia by four goals to two um it was something of the sort but it was a better i would say it was a better final end-to-end stuff kian mbappe scoring a hat-trick messi scoring a brace penalties here and there forced into a penalty shootout it was everything you would have wanted the final to be and you know argentina again you know both teams were chasing their third trophies uh argentina were the one to yeah. get it at the end of the day first time since 86 uh i mean the maradona era you know the argentina have won the world cup and Lionel messi who else he's won every other trophy that could be won in international mm. football brilliant stuff at the end of the day what more can we say that hasn't already been said about the final mm, definitely all right um so let's just get into what we, have, what we plan to do today um there's going to be a lot of fighting on this show today <laughs> <laughs> is that your plan um personally i will not be giving my own personal awards you guys will be giving the awards and you guys out there as well brother and dion i'll ask you who your best player is your young player your breakout star disappointment all of that i'll be asking you guys um and of course the guys out there can give theirs as well what i will be doing is i'll be giving the team of the tournament and the coach of the tournament as well so let's just get started um the goalkeeper was the hardest for me to pick it was the hardest for me to pick um Yasin Bono, of course, excellent, excellent. Uh, Dominic Livakovic, excellent, excellent. Emiliano Martinez, excellent, excellent. And he was named MVP, uh, was, sorry, was named best goalkeeper of the tournament. And that's where I went for. I was leaving between him and uh, Dominic Livakovic, but his performance in the final uh, was really high pressure game. He made that late save to deny Randa Kulumwani as well, and then saved the penalty as well during the shootout. And he's earned a place as our goalkeeper of the tournament. Our right back, none other than Ashraf Hakimi. I thought he was the best right back at this competition, was brilliant for the Moroccans, leading them up and down um, that right flank as well. Um, center back, the best defender as far as I'm concerned in this competition, Josko Vadio. Yes, he was giving the run around by Lionel Messi in that semi final, but hey, who hasn't been giving the run around by Lionel Messi? <laughs> <laughs> but he has been the best defender in this competition. And of course, be partnered by Rafael Varane. Um, I thought it was a steady influence for the French team in their back line. Everybody kept getting changed. Uh, we saw at some point Ibrahim Konate. We saw at some point as well um, that of Americano. But um, Rafael Varane was the one constant there, was a steady influence in the team. And of course, left back Theo Hernandez um, came in for his brother. After the brother, his brother got injured in the first in the first um in the first game and just made that place his own uh, played all through to the final and also also uh, he also got a goal in the semi-final as well so he's our left back of the tournament in the midfield it was also tricky getting the midfield here so um just to inform you i've gone for a 4-3-1-2 formation so in the midfield Sofian Amrabat. I don't think I have to say much about Sofian Amrabat's performance at this <laughs> World Cup. Excellent in the midfield. Um, his Moroccan uh, counterparts, um, Azadi Onahi, okay. midfield as well. Excellent in the midfield as well. Was a was a common influence, you know, in the midfield for Morocco. Uh, kept things moving as well. Not a tough tackler uh, like Sofian Amrabat, but he kept things moving. And I think he got a goal as well in this competition. No. And he didn't get a goal. Well, that's, that's too sad. And then Enzo Fernandez uh, won the young player of the 
tournament award and of course again uh, this was his breakout tournament for Argentina. The man behind the strikers Antoine Griezmann, I said yesterday um, beyond yesterday's performance I thought they had been excellent throughout this World Cup they didn't get a goal but it was the glue that stuck these two, uh, this um, French team together and he is in the team of the tournament. The two going forward Lionel Messi and Kylian Mbappe, of course, no uh, questions about this. Yes, you could argue there could be a place for Julian Alvarez or Olivier Giroud, but then again, given the formation, given the players I thought were impressive, um, this is the formation I have gone for. Coach of the tournament, Wally Dragagi. Yes, Scaloni won it. Mm -hmm. But again, I, I expected Argentina to win the World Cup. Uh, but lots of people had Argentina as part of their favorite. Nobody gave Morocco a chance to get to the semi final yeah. as well. So, uh, what Wally Dragagi did with the Moroccan team earns my place as our coach of the tournament. Um, Again, we'll do a recap. Emiliano Martinez in goal, Ashraf Hakimi, Josko Vadio, um, Rafael Varan, and Theo Hernandez in defense. So if you have Amrabat, Azazin, Unahi, Enzo Fernandez are the guys in the midfield. The man behind the strikers, um, Antoine Griezmann, and the strikers, Leila Messi and Kylian Mbappe. Guys, very quickly, Dion, I'll start with you. Any objections? I have a lot of objections, okay, but I need to make it as quickly as possible. I have no objections from the goalkeeper to the defense, but it starts from the midfield. I'm going to go with the 4-3-3. Okay. And the three, um, I will go the two be be i mean in front of this, the defense um luka modric fantastic player oh. for me he's this is his last world cup but yes luka modric, a unit. yes but modric, luka modric luka modric was integral to that croatia getting to third place <laughs> so luka modric for me partnered by sofian amrabat and support system himself anton griezmann up front behind the strikers then you have Olivier Giroud down the line and on both sides of the flank Lionel messi and Kylian mbappe Buddy, that, that's my change what's your what's your what's your objection here um, 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 objection. I think I don't have any at the moment. Mm. Um, I love the fact that uh, we have two Moroccans in that team yeah. and mm -hmm. two players that were steady uh, um, at this tournament. Mm. And it's only fair, you know, it's only fair. And I think I quite agree with your, with your list. Ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we will start fighting from next week. It's time. the <laughs> unlikeliest thing you could ever imagine. <laughs> well, 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 just to just to just to counter Gideon, like I said, um. It was more of a joint effort. Yes. Everybody, you yeah. stand out. Look at Modric. Look at Modric. Look, nah, Croatia nah. got to this back to back semi final. Yeah. They're not, they not known as yeah. one of the best footballing nations. We agree. We agree. Look at them. We yeah. agree. He might not have had moments of brilliance like Messi and Mbappe. Look, look at Look at Modric in that midfield. Considering his age, he's 35. We agree. Say. I don't know look at Modric. Mean, we are because, because yeah, how, many, how many players can play at that age at the top level? Luka no, Modric, no, Luka not, Modric not, cannot. That. Everybody agrees his, his efforts that. in that midfield in Croatia cannot be overlooked, no. and I refuse to be <laughs> part of people that overlook it. <laughs> No, it was, it was, they had the best midfield unit, yeah. Croatia. It was him, Brozovic, and Kovacic. Yes, yeah. the quality was three was of there. them together. No, 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 no. Three of them together they worked well. excellent. Guess what? Nobody stood out. Guess what? Nobody, Nobody stood out. Belgium had the Anybody. quality, had quality too. Kevin De Bruyne, what did he play? <laughs> what did, what did he play? Zero seven hundred nine two three nine two three nine two three is all for you to call. Zero seven double zero nine two three nine two three nine two three. We're also on WhatsApp at zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. Zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. So quick fire, quick fire, quick fire questions. Um, obviously Messi was named MVP. Mbappe won um gold, the Golden Boots. Golden Glove was won by um Emmy Martinez, and um, young player of the tournament was born by um Enzo Fernandez. Fernandez. So quick fire question. Body MVP for the tournament. No, it had to be Lionel Messi. <laughs> it had to be him, basically. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling if I say something other than Messi, the streets will not be safe for me. No, no, uh, so, yes, that's, yeah, that's, that's the point. Exactly. If you want to give something, this is this was not this was not the official team okay. of the tournament from FIFA. Yes, this is mine. Yeah, so uh, exactly, you can give yours. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to sing Mbappe's praises okay. because Mbappe scored a hat trick. This is the first time since Pele. Mm. many years ago that we've seen that in a final and uh, plus he got eight goals this is someone who was the young player of the world cup in the last edition mm. now look at him he's he's won the golden boot Kylian Mbappe for me all right um best young player i think he has to go to julian Alva um, alvarez okay yeah mm. as fernandez was picked but again alvarez was key to um argentina's redemption basically mm. you know when we felt the wood struggle is stood up and i think he had four goals in this tournament yes he had, he had four goals Fantastic. Two goals made out of nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think uh, Julian Alvarez. All right. I, I agree, buddy. 100% yeah. Julian Alvarez. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Breakout star. Breakout, breakout star for you. Oh. Um, the, the Moroccan. Am I bad? No, no, no. As I didn't know. Yeah. Why are we agreeing again? Yes. Well, not, yeah. Yes. And he's 22. He's just young. Okay. I, I would agree with you. I was going to go for... Um, what's it called? Enzo. 
No, no. I was going to go for Sofia Amrabat, but we have been playing regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so I, I agree. Let's not even forget there are two Amrabat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, as a Dinunahi, I agree mm-hmm. with you guys as well. Um, disappointment player. Ooh. There is only one name. <laughs> well, well, I think I, I think there are a number of names. Um, there are plenty, but for me, just plenty. One. Just one. But again, the fact that Ronaldo had a disappointing World Cup, I think I would go with Cristiano. I, um, I, I was about to say that, but I, I didn't, didn't go look for the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, another disappointment. Wow, there are too many to mention, but Harry Kane. Nah, he scored two no. goals. He, he scored, he, he but he top league, but he scored Harry two goals. Harry Kane at the end of it. Kane missed the penalty that sent England home. Disappointment for me, from Vitaro <laughs> Martinez, I think he as well. Vitaro Martinez, yes. Well. So, like Martinez, like, like I said, I was going to say Ronaldo, but, you know. But again, yeah. Ronaldo, the profile, mm. everything. Just one goal in an entire tournament, trust. Oh, no, nah, man. For nah, me, man. It's for not, me, it's not, it's not Ronaldo. Team. I think everybody has just one team here. Belgium? There you go. Do Hands down, <laughs> the Red Devils. They uh, need they need to do more angelic work in their life. <laughs> Surprise player, like a player that you really would not breakout star. You okay. knew about him, but you weren't expecting him to you know do well as a But he turned up really big time for his team. Uh, oh, that be, oh, that be, oh, that be. Uh, Did you expect him to be the you know star of that team or be one of the most influential players of that team? You expected him to be just a passenger or something like that. But maybe, he maybe you can go first. Do you know what? Olivier Giroud. Okay, fair he enough. did not get a goal last time. Fair he enough. was much maligned and whatnot. And because he's in his thirties, so yeah. we didn't expect so much from him. But he got four goals this time. But Good he, one for me. I think uh, that has to be I'm Robert. Okay. okay. Robert said so. Yes, for Antilla, he's been playing. Yes. But on the big stage, yeah. he should have been expected. Yes. I can do this job. Absolutely. And that is why, you know, we would have a lot of suitors in general. Absolutely. And then, su- surprise team. I think everybody knows what it's we're very, going to Yeah. It's, 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 it's <laughs> a <laughs> unanimous thing. It's a unanimous thing. <laughs> of course. Surprise team. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to ask. <laughs> and, and final question. The overall clown of this, of this World Cup. Overall clown now. I, I have an answer. And you go first. Denmark. <laughs> because we hyped them at the start yeah. of the tournament. We expected them to do more. But they crashed out out of the group stage. And I think they were last in their group. Yeah, but Denmark. 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 I think I'll go with Belgium. Okay. We yeah. have so much quality. And, and yes. And they were complaining, uh, fighting, saying they had to go. In fact, let me make me complain here. We have no Lukaku. Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne. At the point was a captain. The next thing you started talking bad about your team, saying that they are old and blah blah blah. Then Ventogen had his own back comments. Come on, Kevin De Bruyne. Anthony, you can't have the sort of chances. Yeah, he had yeah, 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 yeah. Kaku yeah. in that final group game, mm. and it was just mm. it was all, just all right, all right. Thank you guys. Let's go on a break now. When we come back, we we'll focus fully on you guys. You call us and tell us what you think about our team of the tournament, our awards for the tournament as well. Only after this word from SunTrust Bank. Enjoyed this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.